Neanderthal animal and the human animal having had the same basic connection before the division occurred. human animal continued on one path while the Neanderthal went in another direction. So let me begin by saying that these two animals were not living together at the beginning, although they were living concurrently same general area of North Africa, some would say north of the Mediterranean and around the Mediterranean. And of course we're talking about a time prior to the last ice age. And for 84,000 years, the scientists are correct. There were no men in the human animal. Mitochondrial DNA suggests that the original woman was a hermaphrodite. A hermaphrodite that could in fact give birth of clones of herself and did so for a period of about 84,000 years until at about 90,000 BC a development came about and needed to subdivide herself into two people so that she could continue in her duties while a second version called man would be born. And that second version would be task oriented. And that's where you began getting the division, of course, of gender and reproduction over time by sex rather than through the internal hermaphroditic way. My personal interpretation of what has happened is that Creation knows everything. However, creation has never experienced anything. And the creation of life on planet Earth basically an experiment to figure out exactly what advantages there would be to creation not only to know but to have experienced and every grain of sand Every blade of grass, every cloud in the sky, every tree, every bird, every animal, every person is a collector 
of information. And that information is gathered up and stored in a way that can be retrieved by creation. I do not mean God. We get the God later. Creation is not a person, but a process through which we got to where we are today. So, creation defines DNA as one of the methods of receiving and storing information and passing it on from one part of life to another part of life. into what I believe to be the gray matter in the spine of the ancient history and the part that forms intuition rather than reason. I look at the square that graduates receive. I think it's noteworthy that it's designed to cover the hair and replace it with an artificial tassel that represents the hair that was on the head so that the information the person has received comes from a source which is different than where intuition comes from.